Well, in the 70s, you know, the bands weren't that big. You know, they didn't, they didn't push the, the, the hard rock metal bands like they did the other ones. Everything revolved around radio in those days. So if you're a band like Mountain that didn't get radio, you know, you had to tour. And in those days, the only way you could tell how good a band was was to see the concert. You go there and you go, God, a guitar solo's got more notes than the record. They, they sound louder. They're, they're, they're killing, they're, they're playing with the songs they played on the record. They're better. You know, first time I ever really noticed that was Deep Purple. I had buy the record, and when you hear Smoke on the Water on a record, and then you go see them play it live, you go, whoa, what got in between here and that? You know, it's just real, this stuff's really good now. But no, it, every time a great band from that era, whether it was Wishbone Ash, ZZ Top, Robin Trower, Rory Gallagher, the mid-level kinds of bands, there'd be three band bills. And the Palladium was famous for that. It would be uh, Wishbone Ash. Uh, I mean, some of the bills were really messed up. I remember one show was 10 years after Wild Turkey and Roxy Music. How do you put how do you put Brian Eno in that one? You know the one that everybody talks about was uh, Maha Vishnu Orga Orchestra and Aerosmith, or Jimi Hendrix and the Monkees. <laughs> Some of the shows were just I don't know what the promoter was thinking.